it's critical to know that the policy making of cricket in Barbados is led not just by County Raleigh and the board of directors, but there are a number of other committees that form this structure for cricket in Barbados. This young man that I'll be inviting to speak is currently the chairman of the Youth and Women's Committee at the Barbados Cricket Association. So he, along with a, a number of members, will sit down and, as I said, lay out with coaches and others the strategy to get the best results from the talent that we have. So at this point, I would want to invite a beaming and extremely proud director of the Barbados Cricket Association, Pedro Graves, to offer a few remarks. Director Graves. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Leslie. I want to welcome everyone and thank you all for coming. I am joyful that we are celebrating as champions today. And of course, we would have wanted to do this a lot earlier, but with CPL and other events taking place and mostly persons out of Barbados, this was the best time that we could find to do it. Um, so we are champions and I want to see the smells of champions on everyone's faces. Looking around for these smells. Alyssa ain't smelling. <laughs> Where's Sishan? Always smelling. So congrats heartfelt from me as chairman. I believe that I have probably two most important committees at the BCA, women and youth, because obviously the youth are the future. Once we have the correct grassroots programs in place, then we can continue to win tournaments and once we invest in our females, we can also continue what the stars have done um, in the past and currently doing. But we must not settle here. The double, congrats. But we must not settle. You will notice that the center of excellence is on pause and will resume next week because the other 19 is going on right now. We felt that you, you guys have a duty to actually go back to the schools and practice during that other 19 tournament with the school boys and bring those guys along. You can't do it on your own. You're going to need someone at the other end. I was watching India play and Kohli was on 92. They had eight runs to go and Kohli wanted 100. What did Jadeja do? Block every ball so that Kohli could get the 100. And realistically, that's what we are, a team. And in order to achieve individual goals, you need each other. So you need to go back to the schools and encourage all those youngsters to come out and participate as well. To the females, we have about 25 documented um, young gems. And those are the future of our cricket. And we implore you all to pull those along. I am aware that there are others in the schools. Only last week, there was, was a young lady, Raya, from Cumber Mayor playing the Torn Teams match. And she only started playing cricket two days before her first match. And that was phenomenal because she was so enthusiastic and she did really well. So I'm happy to see that there is talent out there. But we implore you all, you are the ones to drive this. You are the ones to encourage participation within the schools and within the clubs. So with that, we want to invest more. You will see some changes coming because it's not about just winning this tournament. It's not about winning tournaments only. It's about getting you all into the West Indies teams. It's about making livelihoods out of cricket because cricket is an industry. So we're going to be doing things a bit differently. We're going to be having some skills at the center of excellence, focusing so you will not have the normal practice sessions. And what it will say is that we're also inviting the females a part of the center of excellence. So what's going to happen is that you're going to have a bowling clinic. All the fast bowlers will come on that particular day. You're going to have a spin bowling clinic. All the spin bowlers will come on that particular day. You're going to have a batting clinic. All the bats will come on that particular day. We've got all the bowling machine service. And as I said, the females are also going to be a part of that. And it's going to be reduced numbers to focus on quality and not necessarily quantity. With the savings that we will have going forward, with some other plans that we have that I can't discuss yet because um, we still have to finalize them. We're currently going through a strategic plan as a board. 
But with the savings we're going to have, we're going to have a so, tremendous more support in terms of contracts, in terms of tours. Um, we've had a lot of touring teams with the females. We went to Trinidad this year. We want to take you, the boys, to Australia, South Africa, but we're going to need the money. So there's going to be some cutbacks in order to take you all on these tours. So the future looks bright, and I want to thank you all and congratulate you all again. Well done. Thank you very much, Director Pedro Graves.